By making individual chocolate mousse cups, you have a creative way to present your chocolate mousse dessert. It all starts with party balloons. I inflate the mini balloon and wipe it off just with a damp cloth, but make sure it's dried off before you get ready to dip. we go. I have about four ounces of melted dark chocolate that's been cooled just to room temperature. Because of the nice round shape of the balloon, you can actually use that to create a nice tulip or petal effect. So I simply dip it in one side, dip it on the opposite side, and see the design coming together. There we go. Take off excess, but you do need to leave a little at the bottom because then you want to set it upright like so to dry on the plate. When you're dipping your balloons, make sure you check the bottom that it has a complete covering so that your mousse doesn't leak out the bottom. Now you need these to set completely. So that can take a little while at room temperature. You can pop it in the fridge for just 10 minutes. I have some already set. So now it's time to take out the balloon. Now you don't pop it like you're at a surprise party because it'll actually shatter the chocolate. But right where you tied the balloon at the top, there's a little give. And so just gently pierce it. And then you can stretch out the balloon to open the hole. And look, as it shrinks, it lets go of the chocolate. And then just carefully pop it out. When you're ready, just put your serving cup on a plate. What I have here is the white chocolate mousse that I made earlier. So, of course, perfect for piping. I love the contrast between the white chocolate mousse in the dark chocolate cup. Just grate a little bit of chocolate on the side and then sprinkle it on top. And then fresh raspberry to cap it all off. It looks truly professional. And now you know how easy it is to make.